Hi, and welcome to our video for 0 0.1 significant figures, also referred to as sig figs. Now, significant figures are a method for handling uncertainty in all measurements. This arises due to the fact that we have different equipment with different degrees of accuracy. We can't treat something measured with a less accurate instrument with, we can't treat it the same mathematically as something measured with a more accurate instrument. So we're all going to always now have to learn how to keep track of significant figures. Okay, and they're associated with measured values only. Things are exact numbers don't count. For example, if there's an atomic mass on the periodic table, all right, we can treat that as an exact number. We can treat when we say 1,000 meters equals 1 kilometer. We're not worried about significant figures here because they're not measured. They're exact. Okay? Or like let's say we're using inches. We never will, but if we're going to say 1 inch is 2.54 centimeters, we don't have to worry about the number of significant figures here. Okay, so before we get into some of the rules for significant figures, let's think about why and how it works with measurement. So when we read a ruler, right, what would I read this as? Well, if this is, right, here's 10, here's 11, here's 12, you know, am I going to say 11? No. Am I going to say 12? No. I get 11 point one two three four five six because I could count that, so I say 11.6. However, I always have to estimate one more digit. So there's the digits that I can count plus one more. So if I look here, if this is 0.6 and this is 0.7, this is a little more than halfway to, so it's not 11.65. It looks like it's 11.66. Okay? So I always have to estimate one last digit. Because we know the object is more than 11.6, but it's less than 11.7. So we have to account for that. Now, here's an example where we have three different rulers with different degrees of accuracy. Now, with this one, we can see that it's more than 0, but less than 1. If we estimate, we can say yeah, a little more than half. So we can measure 0. We got to do one more digit that we estimate, so we get 0 0.6. Here, we can measure, right, if here's 0, here's 1 meter, and 60 centimeters, which is 0 0.6, and we estimate that little bit more and get 0 0.61. Here, 0 0.6, now we can see it's more than 0, less than 1, so it's 0, and we estimate that last one and get 0 0.607. Similar thing if we're reading a graduated cylinder. All right. The measurement, by the way, always read from the bottom of the meniscus. That's the shape here. So we read from the bottom. So we have here 25. If this is 25 and this is 30, that means 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, so each of these is by one. So 25, 26, 27, so we know it's more than 27, but less than 28, so we're going to estimate that last digit, and it looks like it's halfway through, so we're going to get 27.5, probably milliliters. Okay, so that's the measurement part. Significant figure rules, and these we're going to have to learn and memorize, but I'm going to show you a little trick that makes it easier. Rule one. If it's not zero, it's significant, always. So one through nine, each one of them is significant. So here, significant, significant, significant. Not significant, 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 significant. All of these three have three significant figures. Rule two, zeros between non-zeros are significant. Shortcut term, we call them sandwiched zeros are significant. So here, we have, since the 7 is significant and the 3 is significant, these zeros between, our sandwich zeros, they are significant. 
sandwich zero significant. So this has one, two, three, four significant figures. Significant because it's sandwich. One, two, three, four significant figures. Leading zeros are not significant. Leading means at the beginning. So since these zeros are at the beginning of a number, they are not significant. So there's only two. Not significant, only two. All of these zeros, not significant, only two. So each of these have two significant figures. Now this is very important. Students always mess this up. Zeros at the end of the number, so it's got to be at the end and after a decimal are significant. If it's at the end and there's no decimal, it's not significant. If it's after a decimal but not at the end, it's not going to be significant unless it's sandwiched. So here we go. At the end and after the decimal, these are significant. At the end and after the decimal, these are significant. At the end and after the decimal, these are significant. See, these here are after the decimal, but they're not at the end, so they're not significant. Okay? If I say 500, these are at the end, but not after a decimal, so they're not significant. Only this is. All right, so zeros at the end of the number without a decimal are not significant. And something's an integer, right? not a measured value, have unlimited significant figures. So if we say five people, that five, since we're not, we can never have five and a half people, it's an integer, that's always going to be significant. OK. So the Atlantic Pacific method, here's how it works. First thing we do is determine, is a decimal point present? P present, we're going to use the Pacific. P stands for Pacific. So there's no decimal. We think A for absent Atlantic. And if we look here at the US, right, here's the Pacific coast. Here's the Atlantic coast. Imagine the number you're looking at is like a map of the US. So let's take our example. Let's say 0.002. Four zero five zero. So we determine, is there a decimal present? Yes. So we're going to start on the Pacific side. And we're going to start counting from the Pacific. The first non-zero number we land on starts our count, and there we'll count till we reach the end. So starting from the Pacific, zero, zero, zero. First non-zero number, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five significant figures. Let's try another one. Let's say one, four, three, four, zero, zero, zero. All right, so decimal is absent, so we're going to start on the Atlantic, the right side. First non-zero, up oh, first non-zero, one, two, three, four significant figures. Okay, so Pacific Coast, we start from the Pacific Coast when a decimal is present. We start at the first non-zero, and we count all the way to the Atlantic. If the decimal is absent, the Atlantic Coast, we start from this side, the right, start at the first non-zero, and count all the way to the end. And that'll tell us how many significant figures. You don't have to write all this stuff down word for word. Sorry if you already did. If you write these down, these little shortcuts, that'll be helpful. All right, question time. Determine the number of significant figures in each of the following. Okay, so we're going to use those rules to help determine. The easiest way is the Atlantic Pacific method. Now, there's one little trick. I'm going to point it out at number three. Now, you see here, two, three, five, seven, zero. Three is three, five, seven, zero, point. Anytime we see here a point with nothing after it, that means that this zero is significant. So in three, this zero is significant. In two, this zero is not. All right, practice these, see how you do, and we'll go over them in class. See you guys at school.